Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relia and thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to go over the best recipes for hearts in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today is going to be a little bit less about specialized recipes and more about the top six ingredients and how to get the most out of each one because there's a really big difference in having three hearts versus having 27 hearts. With three hearts, you may want to use all five ingredients in a single recipe, but if you have more than 10 hearts, you really don't need more than one hearty ingredient at any given time. The reason being is that hearty ingredients when cooked restore full hearts and give a couple of extra hearts. If you have 27 hearts, you can't have more than three extra hearts anyways. The first ingredient that we're going to go ahead and take a look at today is the hearty truffle. It's the lowest tier one, only provides one bonus heart when you cook up just one of them. If you cook up five, you'll get five bonus hearts. You should never cook up more than one hearty truffle at any given time because of the fact that you only get one extra bonus heart. Even if you only have three hearts, it's still better to cook them up just one at a time. The next ingredient that we're going to be going and taking a look at today is the big hearty truffle. You're going to get a lot more out of the big hearty truffle. If we cook up five of these, we're going to get 20 extra hearts, which is actually pretty good. You may have figured out the math by now, and if you go ahead and cook up one big hearty truffle, you're going to actually get four bonus hearts. The next ingredient that we're going to take a look at is the hearty duran, and you will find that it has the exact same properties as the big hearty truffle. That means that if we cook up five of these, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves 20 extra bonus hearts. If you need to know where to find any of the ingredients, I'll go ahead and put that in the description down below. The next ingredient is the hearty bass. This is just a step above the hearty truffle, and it's not really great for early game, but it is great for later on in the game when you just need a full revive, because you're only going to get that two extra bonus hearts, and that's pretty much all you really need. When you have 27 hearts, you can't have a bunch of extra anyway. The next ingredient is the Big Hearty Radish, and this is the best ingredient in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild when it comes to getting the max bonus hearts that you can possibly get. With five Big Hearty Radishes, you're going to get the 25 bonus hearts, which is amazing for early on in the game. Even if you only have five hearts, you can max yourself up all the way to 30 hearts when you have one of these. It is as good as it gets. The regular hearty radish is okay. You're going to get three bonus hearts whenever you cook up one. And if you cook up five of them, obviously you're going to get 15 bonus extra hearts. So we just went through the six best heart restoring ingredients in Breath of the Wild while inside the Great Deku Tree. And I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty cool. It's a lot smaller than I remember in Ocarina of Time, that's for sure. If you learned anything, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll be coming out with more videos every other day, so stay tuned for more. Thank you very much, and have a great day.